Elon Musk's highly anticipated discussion with Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump on the platform X, which Musk owns, faced significant technical difficulties, overshadowing the event. The conversation, originally intended as a high-profile interview, was delayed by more than 40 minutes due to widespread access issues, leaving many users unable to join the live stream. When the discussion finally began, Musk posed a series of friendly questions to Trump, focusing on topics like immigration and inflation. However, rather than an in-depth interview, the event featured Trump making a number of unsubstantiated claims that were not challenged by Musk. The conversation was notably supportive, with Musk reiterating his endorsement of Trump, who is facing Vice President Kamala Harris, a resurgent Democratic candidate, in the upcoming November election. This race has become more competitive since President Joe Biden stepped aside, allowing Harris to step in as the Democratic nominee. Musk attributed the technical glitches to a cyber attack, specifically a distributed denial of service, DDoS, attack, which aims to overwhelm a website with traffic to make it difficult or impossible to access. However, experts expressed skepticism about this explanation. Anthony Lim, director of the Center for Strategic Cyberspace and International Studies in Singapore, noted that such an attack would likely affect multiple services on the site, not just one feature. He suggested that the large number of users attempting to join the live stream could have temporarily crashed the service. Meanwhile, Andrew Hay from IT firm Demovo indicated that a cyber attack could have caused the issues, but this was not certain. The conversation touched on a variety of topics, from a recent assassination attempt on Trump during a rally in Pennsylvania to his proposal for the U.S. to develop an Iron Dome missile defense system similar to Israel's. Immigration, a cornerstone of Trump's campaign, was also discussed. Additionally, Trump mentioned his intention to close the Federal Department of Education and shift its responsibilities to individual states if he wins the election. The relationship between Musk and Trump has evolved over time, with the two previously exchanging online barbs. Despite this history, Monday's conversation was amicable, with both men offering each other praise. Trump, who has historically been skeptical of electric vehicles, EVs, and once vowed to reduce federal subsidies for them, praised Musk's car company, Tesla. He recently claimed he had no choice but to support EVs due to Musk's endorsement and described Tesla's products as great during the discussion. Some viewers noted a difference in Trump's voice during the conversation, which sounded as if he had a lisp. However, a spokesperson for Trump's campaign stated that his voice was no different from usual. The technical difficulties that marred the conversation were reminiscent of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis' May 2023 entry into the White House race, which was also announced on X and suffered from similar livestream malfunctions. Monday's event marked something of a return to X slash Twitter for Trump, who had been banned from the platform following the January 6, 2021, Capitol riot. Although his account was reactivated by Musk in 2022, Trump had only posted once since then, a mug shot and a link to his campaign website. Aside from a flurry of campaign ads posted on his account on Monday, it remains unclear whether Trump will start using X more frequently, as he currently posts primarily on his own platform, Truth Social.